Hey guys, it's Michael Lafito. In this video, I want to put to bed some misconceptions out there about what's going on with real estate agents and commissions. You know, there's a lot of articles out there. I saw one recently, the death of 6% commissions. First off, commissions have always been negotiable. Agents that don't bring a lot of value to the table, they're probably willing to discount. Agents that have a proven marketing plan to help get owners better deals, net more money, they probably charge a little bit more. Or agents that work with buyers that are just basically Uber drivers that just drive around and don't bring any value, they're probably willing to negotiate a lot more because they're not an expert. So real quick, I want to share with you an image, real estate commissions, how do they work? So there's a lot, as I mentioned, a lot of rumors going on. So I want to share with you how commissions and agents used to get paid. And then August 17th, there's a mandate going down with the Department of Justice and the National Association of, uh, of Realtors. They've agreed to change the way real estate agents are going to get paid. And so I want to share that with you uh, right now. So in the past, I'm going to use a visual right now. So in the past, you know, real estate agents, the seller would hire a real estate agent and they would pay what they call the listing broker. The listing broker, if I'm representing a seller, I'm called the listing broker. And in the past, if there's another agent involved, which 80 to 90% of the time there is, we would pay the buyer's broker from our fees. So that's how it's been done in the past. And we would disclose to the buyer's broker how much they'd get paid up front. That would be in our multiple listing service we would fully disclose it, it would be transparent. As of August 17th, in many parts of the country, it's already been implemented. We can no longer disclose commission. So that's the old way. The seller would pay us, the, the listing agent, the marketing agents, and if there's an agent involved, which most of the time is, we'd pay the buyer's broker. Now I wanna share with you the new way of commissions. So now the seller still pays us, but they don't pay, perhaps as much. Everybody negotiates differently. Everybody brings more value to the table, but the seller still pays the broker, the listing broker. However, the listing broker, we are recommending the listing broker no longer pay a buyer broker. However, if there is a broker involved, we're suggesting the sellers pay the buyer's broker. So at the closing, the seller will be paying a commission now to potentially the listing broker and the buying broker in the past, it was always to the listing broker. Now the seller has really three options. The seller can decide to hire an agent to of course market their home and they can disclose up front, me as a seller, I will pay a buyer's broker. They can disclose that amount, they could be proactive and say we're paying X percent, X amount of dollars. Okay, that's one option. The other option is they can say, no, we're not gonna pay the buyer's broker, the buyer has to pay a broker. The third option is that they can say, we're gonna pay, but we're not gonna disclose how much we pay. That's gonna be depend on how strong your offer is. So again, the old way of doing things, the seller would hire an agent, that agent would potentially pay a buyer's agent and it would be disclosed up front. The new way, what we're suggesting is, is the seller still pay the, the listing agent. However, the seller could either A, decide to be upfront and proactive and say, I will pay a buyer's broker, and I'll pay them blank. The second is, no, I'm not paying a buyer's broker. It's gotta be, the buyer's broker has to be paid from their own client, the buyer. Or the third is, I will work with you as, and I will compensate you as a buyer's broker, but I'm not gonna disclose it. All depends on the terms and the price. So again, that's my little handwritten note there. That is going into effect August 17th. Again, there's a lot of misconception out there, but I wanna share with you, how do commissions, how did they work, and how do they work moving forward? Again, my name is Michael Lafito. If you guys have any questions, please leave us a like, leave us a review, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.